Hi, I'm Morgan Tracy J, and today I'm talking about my water fasting experience. Let me tell you, this water fasting experience has been amazing. I will say I stopped on day five because I had a feeling that it was my time to stop. And so, but once that evening came after stopping, I felt kind of bad. Like, was I sure? I just really felt kind of bad. But um, today I did some meditation. During that meditation, God just really uplifted me and brought some things to life for me. Now, what I will say is day one of fasting, I heard from the Holy Spirit to help me be successful in this fast. So I will say that. And that's what he spoke on at first. He just pretty much said, like, you made the choice to fast. You made the choice to put your body in submission. You didn't know how long you just chose to go for it. You made that choice. But not only did you make that choice, you made the choice that when you heard the Holy Spirit talk to you, you applied it on day one when you were this close to giving up. You applied it. And so day two, you were exhausted. You had no energy. You were on a low for day two, but you still chose to put your body in submission and stick through it. And then day two is the day I realized my Bible Bible reading had changed. It went from a Bible reading to like a Bible examining and like breaking through. Like it was really weird. And um, day two was when I really got a great revelation out of Ezekiel. And so, and I was able to put it in the context of something else. And I knew that was only by the Holy Spirit. Um, besides that, day three, he broke down for me that day three, I started to reveal some stuff in your life that doesn't completely line up with the word of God. And day four, I'm telling you these things. And, and not only am I telling, but you're asking me. You're not just dealing it with like with yourself anymore. You're actually asking me, you know, like, what do you want me to do here? And as soon as I reveal to you what to do, you obeyed. You obeyed. And that's something that you have not done. When I have revealed certain things to you, sometimes you don't obey. But during this fast, you have because you have put your flesh in submission. So as soon as I've told you something, you didn't overthink it. You didn't stress. You just went for it. But that's because you had your flesh in such of a submission. And so I need you to do that. I need you to keep that flesh there. I need you to not allow your flesh to get the best of you. So that was just a lot of stuff that was said. And I'm saying, you know, I rekindled that flame with the Lord. I, I, grow more, I grew more hunger in the Lord in this fast. And although my stomach was growling, I knew I was hungry for his word. I was hungry for the voice of God. I was hungry for a revelation. And I got all of that. And so that's how I know, like, I'm done. And that's why I got, think, I got so uplifted when I heard this because I just needed reassurance to not let the enemy make me think that I need to go longer and I need to go longer and I, I, I God isn't co- he's not completely okay with that and, and I have to go longer because God just he wants to he just he's not okay with me only doing five days because if you watch my if you've been on my channel I've done a 19 day water fast it was going to be 21 days but I stopped at day 19 because I felt done I just knew it and when I was done I didn't feel bad I didn't cr- I cried tears of joy I praised God for getting me that far and so I say this was a very different experience. And I know every time you fast, that's you, you're, you're building up your spirit stronger and stronger. And obviously, I think that's why I was able to cut some things off in my life that I have not been able to cut off because I, I haven't really been fasting as much as I need to. And so my spirit has not been getting as strong as it needs to get. So I highly suggest if you are thinking of fasting, if you are interested in it, and I really hope you are since you're watching this video. If you are interested in fasting, go for it. I don't know how much weight I lost, but I definitely could tell like in certain areas, like I don't know how much weight you can lose in five days. I don't know when you barely, when you have no food, but I know I've lost some weight. So I guess that's some good things, you know, but I really will say um, the overall experience was amazing. And so if you wanted to fast, go for it. Pray and go for it. It's not easy, but there's so, there's so much that I got out of God in just Five days. Oh my gosh. I can't even explain. Five days. Five days. And what if I never fasted? I don't even want to imagine. I don't want to imagine. Because all that I did not, I got out of God, I wouldn't have got. So I thank you, God, for allowing me to fast. And I thank you for watching. And I thought, and I hope that this revelation and, and this change in my life that is beginning now, I hope it motivates you. I really do. So thank you for watching. Bye.